Assalamualaikum and welcome to Xbish Tutorial 4. Okay, sebelum we start our tutorial, we start with Ulit Al-Fatihah first. Okay, sebelum kita mulai tutorial kita, kita akan For the Xbish Tutorial 4, this is the documents. All the documents, you can find it in Google Classroom under Tutorial uh, 4. And today, we're going to do the 1D Nourishment Case. Make sure you have the correct folder. Today, 1D Nourishment Case under Tutorial 4. And inside the 1D Nourishment Case, you will have this 4 folder. Banquet, Beach, Reference, Shoreface, and one run all dot batch, batch file. Okay, getting started. I advise you get you uh, prepare first. Open your Microsoft Word, and then open your folder. Make sure to open your Delf three D dot grid. You can pause the video first and open prepare first. All the things you need and then you need the Delft 3d quick plot and of course you need the X speech manual it is very important for you to find anything that you don't understand you can just find in this manual everything will be in the manual Okay, so if you're ready, we're moving on to the exercise. Okay, to make this one full. Nourishment, this is a nourishment scenario near Kitch, Kitchduin, Holland. It will be in one dimensional case. So this case concerns the exploration of nourishment strategy near Kitchduin along the Holland coast in the Netherlands. At this location, a mega nourishment of 21 millimeter uh, square, you know, square, uh, cubic, named the sand engine was constructed. In this case, we will explore to what extent nourishment can reduce the dune and beach erosion during a storm event. And we can work on the following tutorial. So this in Holland, can actually see this is the area of Kitch Duin, okay, Netherlands, and I'm going to share of you some of uh, some video from the YouTube on this sand engine. It's very famous and it costs millions of uh, money. Is a government because they wanted to build a sand engine here, so within time with the work of nature, they can push belly all the sand and eventually they can become a natural sand. Okay, in order for us to understand more, we're going to play you this YouTube video. Ministry of Infrastructure and the Environment and the province of South Holland are working on a safe and beautiful coastline. The coast of South Holland, like here at Kijkdown, constantly needs to be maintained. That happens every five years by adding new sand along the coastline. But there are also innovative methods of coastal protection and coastal expansion. An example of this is the sand motor project, in which the sea is an ally in the strengthening of the coast. The sand motor is a huge volume, 21 and a half million cubic meters of sand, which will be applied in 2011 along the coast of South Holland at Terheide, near the Solifeld Nature Conservation Area. In the beginning, the sand motor is shaped like a hook with an inner lake. Influenced by wind and water, the sand gradually spreads along the coast of South Holland. This is called building with nature. The sand motor will become a nature and recreational area. New dunes will be created, and the area will attract a wealth of plants and animal species various kinds of birds, and maybe even seals, will explore the sand motor. 
surfers, swimmers, and hikers can recreate at and around the sand motor. The Ministry of Infrastructure and the Environment and the province of South Holland will monitor the sand motor and work in close cooperation with the rescue squads. This will prevent unsafe situations for swimmers and surfers. Scientists will study how the sand motor develops. Hence, we'll learn more about the forming of the coast through wind, waves and currents. Over a period of 20 years, the sand motor will gradually change its shape and will eventually be fully incorporated in the coastline. The dunes and the beach will then have expanded by about 35 hectares. There'll be more space for recreation and the coast will be safer. Okay. That's some introduction on the sand motor. Motor. Okay. So we're going back to, I hope you guys understand, because eh? it tried to build uh, working with nature. So eventually the sand will form a beach. So it kind of like, um, they're not going to waste a lot of amount of money because it's every year, especially similar with the Lodge and they have to nourish every year. Yeah. So in order for them uh, not to waste time, they just put sand over here and eventually the nature will push it away and to become sand here. And but they need to work very uh, systematically on how the current there were and how must the uh, impact of the wave works in order for it to uh, push all the sand here to form the natural beach okay that is for the introduction and then number one is go to the folder example nourishment case and double click the file run all dot batch okay and here see here this is the run all dot batch each bat, <clears throat> this batch file will run three simulation sequentially in which the profile configuration varies and correspond with the undisturbed profile. Okay. The undisturbed profile is the folder reference. Shore face nourishment is this folder and beach nourishment is this beach respectively. Each model will run for a few minutes. Okay, so you just right click and you click edit with notepad. You can actually see inside the run all dot batch. The batch file called the run model dot batch in the reference folder, and then it goes out and then it go into short face folder. And it call batch file of the running model of batch file inside the shore face folder, and then goes out again. And then went into the beach folder. Then it run the batch file, the run model. So that is how it calls the tree batch file inside each this tree. All this this one uh, we keep it for the last list for your additional report we're going to do this only this tree okay so you click it because i already have the uh, result so i already i already clicked that one so i don't need to click this again so you just click it and let it run for a few minutes while running you can already answer question number two to six okay and then for the reference case, open the file param, parameters.txt reference case. So the folder will be reference. Click reference. You find a lot of file. Find the parameters file, which is here. And right click, edit with notepad plus plus. Okay. So this will pop up and you can see check the number of grid points in x direction 
and x and y direction and y. How many directional wave beams are defined and what is their width? Theta mean, theta max, d theta. Okay, for the reference. So you go for the grid parameters. Okay. This is where you define the grid. Everything that related to the grid, the initial grid, will be under the grid parameters. So you have NX, 111 cells. If you don't know what NX means, you can always go back to the XBIG manual. You can type NX here and you click next until you find the definition. See here, spatial grid size is defined by the keywords and x, x, and, and y. So you can go, click again. Okay, there's a lot of nx here. Here, okay. Number computational cell corners in x direction. The cells, huh? basically times, times the dx lah. how many meters you bagi one cell to contohnya 100 meter one cell is 10 to 100 bagi 10 you can get the nx so because it's one direction so the ny is zero okay how many directional we've been are defined and what is their width theta mean theta max and d theta. So theta media is minus 90 degree, theta max is 90 degree, and d theta is 180 degree. So we learned this one before in our tutorial on the computational grid. We have basically two system to refer to local coordinate. Either it will be nautical or with respect to uh, the northeast, either Cartesian or nautical convention. Okay, and because uh, the default, it doesn't mention here in the editor, in the grid parameters, doesn't mention anything about uh, theta naught nautical or Cartesian you can assume it default value okay you can assume it default value and what is the default value you can go back to the manual and theta nautical You can see here theta not saying that the default the default is zero meaning that cartesian okay so if the, it doesn't mention in your params.txt on either it's cartesian or nautical convention you assume it to be default kalau you guys rasa macam tak yakin once your you go to the referral reference, you can always check back on the xblock.txt. This is summarized. The summary, you open it and xblock.txt will pop up and you can always see under the grid parameters put here. Theta not equal to zero. No record found, default value will be used. Okay. Theta now is equal to zero. Kalau letak satu, which means it's going to use the nautical convention. So because here it use Cartesian convention, the system will refer to is as the zero. The blue one, blue color here, blue, go, 
that way. And the alpha is 180. I will uh, talk about the detail. So when it say the theta min and theta max is 90 here, Okay, take the uh, pen here. This is ninety. This is will be the minus ninety, and this will be zero, which means basically in. 1D direction is with yeah because usually we use this type uh, of uh, Cartesian or convention uh, Cartesian or nautical usually in 2D because this is only 1D that's the reason why uh, it doesn't really matter which one it just uses the default value okay so you don't have to really worry about that just um, because uh, this is only the 1D case. Okay. Show. Discard. Okay. Okay, we're going back to... I'm uh, sorry. Going back to the folder uh, to the editor sorry and you can just put here folder and x how much and y theta mean minus 90 90 so if you want to include why is it like that you can also include the illustration on why it become minus 90 90 and 180 so this theta means this amount Next one is number three. Do wave conditions change during the simulation? What is R, the wave heights, and wave periods apply in the simulation? What is the offshore mean wave direction? Okay, so basically we going to refer to the reference. Because this is the reference folder, the one yang standard and the reference, which means the initial profile of the beach. Okay, we go to the wave condition dekat dalam params.txt wave boundary condition this wave spectrum parameters it said that bc file equal to file list.txt which means it reads from the file list.txt you go reference find the file list dot text edit with notepad so here is the file that will contribute to the wave condition the wave spectrum in your simulation so what is are the wave heights and wave period applied Okay, if you look at here, in the file list, in the kind of file list ni, the are the temporal varying with boundary condition. They fit multiple spectrum. All this file, John Swap ni, John Swap spectrum. You can read about John Swap spectrum in the exhibition manual. Why it called the John Swap spectrum? But the function is to give a different definition of uh, with uh, spectrum. Okay. In the following lines, each line contains so this this one is the one that uh, length similar to the time in parameters.txt. And here, this one is the resolution. Berapa banyak dia punya time step? Uh, sebab apa kalau semakin kecil time step maksud dia resolution dia semakin uh, bagus lah 
kalau you use bigger time step resolution tak bagus and then this one is the the one that you uh, the file that they can read during this time okay duration and then taking one example from john swap the okay, john swap dot text ni you can go to the reference as well open john swap here edit with notepad you can find there's a three terms hm0 fp and minang and ng something like that okay Kat sini, the definition dia you can find also in the explanation manual. I have already cropped it here. Uh, you can see here. The HM0 is the wave spectrum significant wave height. FP peak frequency of the wave spectrum. Gamma tak ada kat sini. So dia, dia tak guna lah. Dia pakai, dia pakai default or dia pakai default saja. As directional spreading. So dia kat sini pun dia pakai default hands saja because it's in 1D they don't use spreading mean wave angle so this is the wave angle nautical convention 270 so kat sini 3 je lah yang ni 1 2 3 yang pakai and if you notice kata mean wave angle nautical convention 270 meaning that if you look back here You can see here input wave direction wbc type johns so that is johns john swap in nautical convention zero degree is coming from north 90 degree is coming from east so they, they follow yang merah ni untuk wave spectrum they tak follow cartesian even though your punya grid bathymetry in cartesian but you punya wave type, dia akan define dalam nautical. Maksudnya dia akan 270 mana? 270 here. It means that the error will come from here. Okay, as I put it. Okay. This is the 270. There is only one, and you have your be sini lah jadi x one je, and x ju this is your x lah. X aja yang 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 bergerak and show on this card, okay. And kata macam mana you nak cari period. Okay. Because T is equal 1 over frequency. So, pandai-pandai nak kira. Kan? And dia kata sini, what is the mean wave direction? You can see, you can buka asal satu. John swap 2, John swap 3, John swap 4. Tengok dia punya mainang ni. I don't know sure how it's supposed to pronounce main wave angle dia berapa untuk setiap John Swap uh, so daripada direction pelbagai direction dia datang satu direction je ke atau dia datang banyak direction the main wave height dia ok that's number 3 we already cover ok next one number 4 does the search height change during the simulation what is the maximum search height in the simulation? Search height is defined with respect to mean sea level. Okay, because we are still in the folder reference. Kita buka reference. Kita tengok dekat dia punya. You must remember, you just go back to dia punya parameters. You tengok. Type. So, here, search height ni. Dia related to tight boundary condition. The ZAC S0 file is the mean sea level. Okay. 
and it refer to the search dot txt. So that that is the the type of your input, but to change with respect to mean C level, that is the where this file comes, and the type location equal to one. So what does this one mean? You can also check in the exhibition manual. Okay, uh, you go and open the search dot text. The dual, this is this is one. Open edit with notepad. You can see a list of numbers. There are two columns. Okay. Two columns. See here type location one specified title record is specified on four corners of the domain and interpolated along the boundary. So they just specify the same uh series the same time series you got all four corners kalau ada one corner je one je lah dia maksud dia kalau you ada 2d at all those four corners tu kiri kanan depan belakang semuanya gunakan data yang sama dia tak ada berubah banyak so dia kata the z s0 file must adhere to the following format the last three column are optional so kita only have two columns because we only 1D. So you added two, three columns, depends on you can your tight lock, color tight lock equal to four, and then you can put additional columns. So for here, this first column is the type time. You can see the time, time sampai lah, sini. Satu, dua, sembilan, enam, kosong, kosong. The time usually akan sama dengan, apa, T-stop it. Here, this stop time. Okay, and then the second column is the ZS. This is where the the height from the mean sea level tu. Sama ada dia naik ataupun menurun. See, minus ada, positive ada, which mean that ada naik turun with respect to the mean sea level. Okay. Is that answering the question number for at the maximum search height you can find uh, nila, at what time dalam ni mana tinggi kat mana so not going to tell you that you have to find it okay and then what is the simulation time okay this one we already talked about it t stop do we apply a morphological Acceleration factor, more fact. Yes, we do. Five. This only for morphology, not the hydrodynamic time. It's not the morph uh, morphological time. It's the hydrodynamic time. What variables are stored as output and what and with what time interval? How much hydrodynamic time is simulated? So similarly, also in the folder reference, the T-stop is 129,600 seconds. Hydrodynamic time equal to, equal to, uh, this you calculate lah. More fact, if you want to calculate the morphological time also as well, it's okay in your report. And then to know about what variable are stored at output, you can just scroll down, output variables. This is the global height you have the wave, uh, the bed level, wave height, velocity. What is CCG? Yeah, you can find out what is CCG. Cumulative sediment or something. How much uh, with time interval there? This is the time interval, 60 seconds. Okay. So, they can take sini number six. So we move to number six. Probably the simulation has finished. When you start the model, it generates a file named X block. And tadi lu, open this file and check what is stored in the file. What was the total calculation duration of the simulation? Go back to the reference. 
scroll down, open the xblock.txt, then open, and this is the xblock. Welcome to xbeach, the summarize. Simulation started for Rapo di Bagitao. And then if you scroll down to the very down, they come back to simulation. Complete Rapo average. Time step the Rapo. Duration yang di pakai sebetulnya. Ini. Untuk running. Okay. Average. Time step it. Speed Rapo. Second. So it depends on your computer. Kata dalam tu. Kalau orang pakai workstation yang tinggi, you can run, you can compare unit speed dia berapa dengan komputer biasa. And then you can upgrade your workstation. Kalau you kata, oh not enough, you need to simulate a very complex problem. You can always uh, customize your unit or your workstation and you can monitor the duration time berapa sebenarnya yang untuk run you punya program. Okay. Okay, so that is the end of part one so you can have a quick rest and we'll i'll see you guys sorry i'll see you guys for the part two i want to stop this one thank you so much assalamualaikum